Hello viewers and welcome to our channel. As we delve into the details of the line, we uncover a revolutionary approach to urban planning that promises to reshape the future of city living. So let's dive into the video and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. You may have seen this architectural concept which broke the internet. This is Saudi Arabia's 170 kilometer long and 500 meters tall mirror city in the deserts which will neither have roads nor any vehicles. This is going to be the first and the biggest straight-line city in the world, which also represents cutting-edge architecture. In 2021, Saudi Prince announced these 170 kilometers long, the Line City, and it is the Saudi King and Crown Prince's dream to complete it before 2030. The Saudi royal family is among the richest families in the world. According to the American business magazine, Forbes and Wikipedia, Saudi royal family's net worth is about $1.4 trillion. If you're finding it difficult to understand, let's make it easy for you. Even if you accumulate the wealth of Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, and other top 17 billionaires, then also they would not compare with his royal family's net worth oil contributed the most to the wealth of Saudi Arabia's royal family. Before discovering oil, Saudi Arabia was only dependent on religious tourism. But with the discovery of oil in 1938, the entire Saudi kingdom got transformed. Today, Saudi Arabia is the second most oil producer after America. It produces more than 10 million barrels per day and sells them to 85 countries. Sadly, this is not going to continue for long. According to a study at Stanford University, researchers have found solid evidence that the crude oil we are using for the past 150 years is about to run out. That is the oil resources beneath the ground are about to exhaust. In the research, it was assumed that by 2052, crude oil will get exhausted or its quantity will remain so less that it wouldn't be profitable to extract it. So after 2052, how the Saudi Kingdom will survive? So Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has already started the process of freeing Saudi Arabia from the oil dependency like Dubai. Saudi Arabia is promoting Western tourism, and the city which is being built for that will be more advanced than Dubai. This city will be very much different from other cities of the world. Unlike other cities which spreads outwards from the center, this city will be in a straight line, and that too, a 170 kilometers long line. They announced a project called Neom, which include three a 170 kilometer long mirrored city called The Line, a floating city called Gan, and a ski resort in mountains called Trona. In this video, we are talking about The Line City. This is the first step toward diversifying the economy of Saudi Arabia, Saudi Prince Mohammed bin Salman's son of Saudi King Salman bin Abdulaziz's Al Saud announced this in 2021, and his master plan includes freeing Saudi Arabia from oil dependency. Neom is being constructed in the Tabak province of Saudi Arabia, where the government has allotted a special zone for this new city. It will be bordering the Gulf of Aba on one side and the Red Sea on the other, whereas from its coast, Egyptian city, Sharm Als is only 5 kilometers away, which is already a tourist hotspot. Both the leaders of the country have plans to connect Neom and Shara Sikh with the bridge. This will not only help both the countries with tourism, and with this land connection, they will be able to bypass Israel. The map proposed by the Saudi Arabia government is really interesting. An aligned city has numerous benefits and will serve as a role model for taking the world to the next level. This city will have three layers on the ground level. There would be no road and no vehicles. The first layer will be enriched with nature, and pedestrians would take a stroll. The second layer, termed the service layer, will contain all the shops, offices, and malls. This level will contain roads and vehicles. The third level of the line will be the backbone of this city because here, ultra-high-speed transport system will be made, which will transport people from one part of this 170-kilometer city to the other in just 20 minutes. The line will be completely different from the other cities of the world because the entire city, its electrical system, transport system, industries, everything will run on renewable energy. The city will pass through the coastline of the Red Sea 
but a majority of its portion will pass through 4,500 feet high mountains. And Saudi government has named this portion Trona. No mountain will be damaged during construction. The geographic location of this line city is chosen in such a way that the world's 40% population can reach here in less than four hours. And obviously such an ambitious project will have a huge cost. Saudi government has allocated a budget of $500 billion for the line city. Drone footages has been shared and viral on internet. A regional airport is built for the line city, which is fully operational from 2019. But at the moment, it is used as a commute for the construction team and other staff from the Saudi capital, Riyadh to Neom. They are claiming that line will run on 100% renewable energy. So how fresh water will be collected, which is now being filtered from the seawater with the help of fossil fuel because there is no fresh water river in Saudi Arabia. How they are going to operate electric appliances with 100% renewable energy for 9 million people? A new method will be developed to generate fresh water in Neom. A very big globe made of glass is being prepared that will be filled with seawater. With the help of solar mirrors around it, the glass globes will be heated, and with the help of evaporation and distillation, the pure water will be extracted through pipes. The CEO of the Neom Water Sector believes that with this technique, every day, 50 million liters of fresh water can be produced with the present-day technologies of reverse osmosis and desalination. The cost is $1 per 1,000 liters, but with a solar dome, cost will drop down to 62%. Now let's talk about the energy sector to meet the electricity demands of this future megacity. 100% renewable source will be used according to Saudi Arabia's location. It mostly remains warm and wind conditions remain better in hot regions. So, with the help of wind turbines and solar panels, such plants will be set up, which will convert the water and air into green ammonia through the electrochemical cells, which is a very effective fuel. When normal fuel is burned, it produces gases that contribute to pollution. But green ammonia, or green hydrogen, is produced with 100% renewable energy. Therefore, no toxic gases are produced when it is burned like fossil fuel. It is easy to transport or store green ammonia. Now coming back to the most important question, how transportation system of the line works, the ultra-high speed train, which is going to be first used in NEO practically. These high-speed trains will travel at the speed of 482 km per reach from one end of the line city to the another. Within 20 minutes, the heavy magnets attached to the tracks will push or stop the train with the help of green electricity. And it is the reason the city is designed in a straight line so that the ultra-high-speed train doesn't have to slow down due to turns. Many experts believe it is not possible to build this level of future city and the technologies used in it by 2030. But seeing the vision of the NEOM project and the hard work that is being done on it, one thing is certain the Saudi Kingdom is quite serious about its future and is trying its best to promote Western tourism. Hope you will like, comment, and share our video. And also do subscribe to our channel and we'll meet you in another amazing video.